Hello there, this is Yanis with episode number 15 of the Arcweave Basic Tutorial Series. The next episode will be the last of this series and it will be about closing and polishing the tutorial project. Before we get to that final episode though, it would be useful to know the options we have when sharing and exporting from Arcweave. Just a reminder, you can find the link to the finished tutorial project in the description of this video and every video of the basic tutorial series. First of all, let's talk about project visibility and sharing. By default, an Arcweave project is private. This means it can only be accessed and played by its author. To change this setting, we can click the share and export icon up here and then choose share. Then we can either share the project with specific people or make it public. To make the project public, we toggle this option here. Then anyone who has this link can view and play the project. And we can click here to copy the link if we want to send it to someone or post it on social media. Just note that this is the project link, not its play mode link. If we want to send the project for someone to play it, we have to add slash play at the end of the link, or simply copy this address from the play mode's browser window. On the other hand, if we want to share the project with specific people, we can invite them by email to become viewers or editors. In theory, there is no limit to the number of viewers we can assign to a project. In terms of editors, if we have a free account, we can invite one more editor, which actually is not too bad. Editors can collaborate in real time. To demonstrate this, I have just given editor privileges to a friend, and here he is. We can see his mouse cursor while he's working. And he seems to be up to something. Let's, let's have a look. Oh, great. So he has some ideas. I will let him work and um, to have a taste of how real-time collaboration works, I will just go right here and do some other things while he's, uh, he's expanding the, the story. And now we can just go back and see what he's done. Uh, okay. I think I will revoke my friend's privileges. And to do that, I have to go here. <laughs> I'll have to go here and <laughs> just remove him from the project. Sorry. Well, that was fun. Now let's go and see our exporting options. If we go back to the share and export icon up here, and we choose export, we get a few options to choose from. The first one is uh, JSON and assets. And we get a JSON file of either the whole project or the selected boards. And we also get a full download of all the assets in the project. A JSON file is a generic format for storing the project's data and it's the way to go if we want to use the project further down the line, uh, for example, in another game engine. Then we have a spreadsheet and we can export all boards together as a CSV file or for premium accounts we can also export uh, for Excel. Then we get images and we can only export the current board as a JPEG or PNG file. And we can do small, medium, or if it's a premium account, it can be a large file. And if we select print friendly, the exported image will be rendered with light colors. And then finally, for premium accounts only, there is a PDF format where we can actually zoom and copy the element's text just as we can in the application itself. So that was it for this video. In the next video we will do a little housekeeping with the tutorial project and add its finishing touches. If you're finding these tutorials helpful, please consider subscribing to Arqueave's official YouTube channel. You can also follow Arqueave on Twitter and Facebook. Let the games begin! Thank you for watching and we'll speak very, very soon.